What's going on guys? It's Kyle. Welcome to the Stockout YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be covering the SoFi stock. The SoFi stock has been picking up an extreme amount of volume the past couple of days. The buzz is continuing to go around and people are more and more bullish than ever. For anybody new to the channel, as you can see, we've been covering the SoFi stock for about four months now. So patience will continue to pay off if you go long term on this company. The past six months has basically been the accumulation and loading phase. We are beginning to get out of the accumulation phase and we are entering a bullish run for 2022 with massive catalyst coming up. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the weekly chart and I'm also going to be giving you guys a long term bullish price target of three years out. And once again, my price target for 2022 is still $45 or higher. Looking at the price to sales multiple of these analysts that they're giving the stock right now. And only if you feel this video gives you a better insight of SoFi or the direction that the company is headed, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll be keeping you updated daily with all the growth stocks and spec plays. There's gonna be a lot of great information coming out. You don't wanna miss it. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, some good news inside of the market today. The S&P 500, the Dow, and the NASDAQ are all red. And the reason why these are all red is very simple. We can see here all the FANG stocks are basically in the red. Facebook, Netflix, Apple, Google. I mean, these stocks have ran all of 2021. So some of those indexes need to really pull back hard. And SoFi is not going with the flow of the overall markets. We are continuing to push green even when the indexes are red. That is very, very important in a growth stock. Once you separate yourself from the indexes, the sky is the absolute limit. Volume is going bananas today as well. 40 million volume with average volume of 20 million, guys. We were at about 60 million plus yesterday, so this is a very good sign with no big news on SoFi stock. I really believe once that bank charter approval news comes out, we could see this stock run up 20 to 30 percent. Volume is going to be absolutely out of this world, potentially over 100 million. We just have to wait for management to finally come out. Understand, the past nine months since this company has been public, the management has not made any announcements besides an earnings report. I believe they are waiting for the company to get in full gear with the bank charter. That is going to be an absolute blowout 2022 as far as profitability heading their way and EBITDA projections in the four to $500 million range. So as you can see here, SoFi right now is up 2% on the day, had a little pullback into the close. I have a $75,000 position in my Robinhood account. I also have more in my TD Ameritrade account. I have more in my SoFi account. So I have tons and tons of SoFi stock. I believe my overall average right now is right around $16 with all of my accounts. And most likely I'll be transferring all of my holdings over to SoFi, you know, once they get the bank charter approval. Now, if we look at the one week chart, I mean, the one week chart is really bullish once that price target analyst came out. Uh, from Morgan Stanley. And we can see after the news came out, this is not a crazy artificial pump. You know, people are actually buying and selling and people are buying up these dips. And that's why we're seeing a nice, slow, gradual move. You know, today we still have not pulled back. So it looks like there's some, you know, big buyers coming in on any kind of pullbacks. And if we sit back and look at the one year chart, as we can see, we've been in the accumulation phase for almost nine months since this company has been public. And I told everybody to buy very aggressively around 14, 15, and 16. And this is gonna pay off huge in the short term as well as the long term. I can say the only thing I did wrong with the SoFi stock was not, you know, double down, you know, around those 15s. You know, I do have over a six uh, figure position, but I wish I really doubled down and, you know, made it a quarter million position. But, you know, everybody is where they're at in their life at, you know, some point, And I just did not have the money to cough up, you know, to get a position that large. But I'm still very happy with a six figure position right now in the $16 range. And we can see right here, according to tip ranks, there's still 30% upside. But I believe the upside can go way, way higher because the bank charter is not priced in to any of these analyst price targets. And I read all their summaries. The price target can go much higher, you know, with a bank charter because that bank charter is gonna boost them to profitability, guys. Once again, nobody knows when it's gonna happen, but just know SoFi has brought over, you know, Chad Borton from USAA Banking to be head of the banking division at SoFi. This is a very bullish sign. He has been named the president of SoFi Bank. This is very good news. So I believe the news could happen uh, at any given moment. You know, it's just a matter of time. And once again, anybody new to the channel, the impact of a bank charter is huge. The blue right here is the adjusted EBITDA of a bank charter boost. You know, it'll bring them from 254 
to 447 with a bank charter in 2022. In 2023, you know, it could boost them from 484 to 718 million, guys. This is some crazy EBITDA coming in. And we talk about long term, you know, one to two billion in EBITDA. This could be a very profitable company in the future. All right, guys, now we're going to get into my long term bullish price target. This is three years out, guys. I'm going to give you a price target for the end of 2024. We're in October 2021. This is going to be October 2022. October 2023 and then October 2024. So this is my 36 month price target that I've done for you. So what I did for you is I took the fastest growing, you know, fintech, e-commerce technology companies in the world and they're all over 100 billion market caps and we just took some averages of price to sales and revenue growth and we're going to give you a price target for SoFi and this price target is only if SoFi, you know, overachieves on their investor presentation and does everything right including it in the bank charter including the marketing just absolutely on fire the next three years so this is if sofi does everything right so we're going to scroll down and we're going to come across a couple companies that we're going to be using in this average valuation to come to a price target three years out for sofi the number one company we're going to be using is paypal don't forget this is kind of a legacy company so i'm including legacy growth in there as well let's continue to scroll down and see what we can come across we're also going to be taking C Limited, guys. This is an e commerce out of Singapore, extremely fast growing technology company. Shopify e commerce in Canada. And we're also going to scroll to the second page. And the last company we're going to come across is Snapchat. So those are the companies we're going to be using today. All right, guys, pay attention because these numbers are very important. They're going to give you a uh, understanding of how to value you know growth stocks because these you know grow much faster than you know legacy banking companies we just had a cnbc analyst you know talk you know a little bit of negativity about sofi saying you know if it wants to be a bank that it needs to be priced as a bank but the thing is it's growing 800 a percent faster than a bank a bank grows at 10 percent so far it's growing you know like at 80 to 100 percent so that's 800 times faster growth and when you combine that with three to four years you know you can get you know some significant leverage on a bank company and that's what we're talking about with these high growth fintech so snapchat has about 119 billion market cap massive massive company four billion in revenue projected for 2021 they have a price to sales multiple uh pretty high around 30x 60 percent growth shopify 168 billion market cap massive company revenue is right around 5 billion for 2021 a little bit higher multiple 34 price to sales and once again guys the price to sales you just divide you know the revenue from the market cap very very simple metric and as you can see a lot of these companies are right in line with price to sales because once they grow larger this is where the analysts put these you know companies at all these companies are priced right where the analysts want them to be c limited 181 billion market cap 10 billion in revenue for 2021 this is a price to sales of around 18x so a little bit lower and actually this company is having faster growth so you know c limited could have more upside than snapchat and shopify around these levels paypal is the legacy company 306 billion market cap but as we can see they do more revenue than anybody you know on this list 24 billion in revenue 13x price to sales the reason why the price to sales is a little bit lower guys is because the growth the growth is right around 20 percent growth so as you can see you know c limited looks like the only one that is you know not priced accordingly with their price to sales you know with this type of growth and uh paypal you know has the lowest price to sales with 20 percent growth all right guys now we're going to get into sofi this is a fintech technology disruptor you know trying to disrupt a legacy market in the banking industry there's two trillion dollars of market cap up for grabs so these are the you know perfect conditions if sofi does everything right and understand i did far stretch the growth you know i believe you know sofi may be underestimating their growth with the nfl marketing the nfl stadium the commercials that they have that they're really pushing hard i believe they found their you know niche right now in their marketing team and they're really going to double down you know inside of 2022 so guys SoFi is trading around a 15 billion market cap right now and they do have revenue projections of 1 billion dollars so so out of the 95 percent of other specs you know they're in the top five percent with revenue you know this is big money revenue we're talking over a billion dollars already and my bullish revenue projection by the end of 2024 is 8 billion of course this is far stretching you know SoFi's revenue growth projections of around 50 to 60 percent I'm saying if they can have 100% year over year growth for the next three years, this could happen, you know, if they're marketing NFL, you know, they have two NFL teams that are, you know, playing extremely well leading up to Super Bowl. 
The key is getting users to the platform. That's the only way to explode growth. So I'm going to say, you know, they get into that C limited category and have three years of 100% growth. This is very simple math. 2022, 100% growth, 2023, 100% and 2024, 100% growth. If we give them an average price to sales multiple right around 20 X, which is actually lower than Snapchat, lower than Shopify and neck and neck with C limited guys. This is a very fair uh, price to sales multiple, including the analysts right now value SoFi at a 19x multiple with their price target. If revenue comes around 8 billion by the end of 2024 guys, and we give them that 20x multiple, this will be a 160 billion market cap by the end of the year guys. Once again, this is a three year price target. And once again, going back to tip ranks, that $25 price target, they're doing a billion in revenue. That's a 19x multiple for 2021. So if we just fast forward this 19x multiple, into their revenue projections for 2024 we have a price target of 201 dollars 36 months out from today 12 earnings reports if they can really ramp up that growth and you know just absolutely explode their user growth this is massive potential guys for a three-year time horizon if we're talking about where the stock is at today you know of around you know 20 dollars 18 to 20 dollars that is your 10x right there in three years. So let's say my you know growth projections of that 8 billion revenue are a little overextended. They could easily hit these projections in four years. So we could easily be looking at a 10x in three to four years. But once again, I have a you know price target of 45 to 50 dollars or higher inside of 2022 with revenue projections in the two billion dollar range this would once again imply the 19x multiple the same multiple the analysts are giving the stock right now today of 25 dollars on tip rank so 50 dollars is beyond reasonable if they can really push their growth and don't forget you know morgan stanley pulled for a bullish call because student loans are coming back guys that's you know 200 million dollars plus in revenue over four quarters this could be a significant boost in revenue and once again we are having the Super Bowl at SoFi. I believe that is where they get a massive influx of customers added to the platform. You know, potentially, you know, we might see a million customers plus in that quarter with the Super Bowl. Watch for the marketing team to really double down on their, you know, strong commercials. I believe that's what's going to get the users to the platform. And people already love the platform because it is the one stop shop. Going back to the stock once again, guys, as you can see, you know, at the end of the day, you know, these dips just continue to get bought up on the SoFi stock. So, there's no guarantees we're going to have a big pullback, but understand if that bank charter goes through at any moment, you are going to miss the boat. This stock is going to run extremely hard, you know, on that type of news, double down from the big whales on confidence that SoFi is going to be reaching profitability inside of 2023. And if you made it to the end of the video, I want to say I really do appreciate it. I enjoyed doing this video for you. Guys, I gave you fundamental analysis on the SoFi stock. This is a realistic price target three years from today, guys. 2024, the end of the year. This could definitely happen. This could be a 10x in your portfolio. Understand, you have to have patience. And when you're investing in a company, you need to enjoy the ride. The reason why I'm long-term on this company is I enjoy following this company and management. I enjoy following Anthony Noto and understanding you know, what types of things he is trying to bring to SoFi. And it's a very fun journey. A lot of volatility in the short term, but I'm telling you right now, if you think the buzz is big, you know, with these 40, 60 million volumes, you know, today and yesterday, imagine where this company could be at one to two years from now. This could be a household name, you know, with the NFL performance that these two teams are getting. This could be a household name, guys. So a lot of bullish things happening for SoFi right now. And the biggest news, once again, has not even dropped. And that is the bank charter. And once again, big money, rich investors, you know, they want to invest in profitable companies. And I'm telling you right now, once this company reaches profitability, the sky is the limit, guys. This company could go to the absolute moon. This is going to be a household name for millennials. And you never know, they could really start doubling down and targeting, you know, 35 to 55, you know, age bracket. You just don't know with SoFi what could happen. And understand options is another thing that could be added to the platform, you know, maybe next year. This is going to really hurt Robinhood because Robinhood is a, you know, big trading platform. So a lot of big things could happen for SoFi. You have to stay bullish and understand, you know, this is a long-term play for me. But in the short term, we could also see a $50 price target. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the like button and don't forget to drop a comment. I'm going to be keeping you updated daily on the SoFi stock. Once again, you got to have fun. You got to enjoy the ride. This is a long-term hold for me. My name is Kyle. Hope you have a great day.